Hunter was a gentleman, starring the hilarious Ronald Shiner and Arthur Askey. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. I said the key was in General Bing's office. Attention all personnel. The Merry Band players are looking for a replacement for the role of Kate in The Taming of the Shrew. If you are theatrically inclined, please talk to Sergeant Owen Castle when he's not on the bridge. No plan survives contact with the enemy. Case, isn't there? Attention, I feel positive there's something that could open this. Piano music, eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. Well, I like clever clogs. Attention all personnel. A hatch. If it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done.
Attention all personnel. Some of the latrines are in the process of being moved from the old holes to brand new holes. If you see a latrine somewhere you're not used to, please make sure it is actually over a hole. For reasons I shouldn't have to explain. Attention all personnel. Patrols should be particularly careful in the forest. More than the usual number of plague victims have been spotted there recently. What? All right. Here goes. Attention all personnel. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ollie. He knew it was a lot, didn't he? I bet he... Bloody knew! How do we get out of here? I'm not going to be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general secret hatch. That's my way out. Paper and fucking glue. Right. Now if I can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie, that won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? It's nothing personal. Oh, tempora. Oh, mores.
Please don't struggle. Probably come in the way I got out in the back of the station. Young Artie, come on up. That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew! How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier mache. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and the others. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh my god. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home? How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well then. See you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Sick up tea. To cure food poisoning. By making myself throw up. Oh, God. I but I wind up having to eat a lot of rotten things. And having to throw them up.
did you think I used to run the hundred bases? Strange how fast all the food's going off. Just lie down. Who needs a chest in the middle of nowhere? Witches, apparently. They seem to put their sacrifices here. This won't take a minute. Mother would be so proud. There they are! Do we really have to do this?
Now we see the violence inherent in the system. Getting old. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friend. Good morning to you. <laughs> well, I hope you all had a lovely night's sleep with lovely dreams.
Sleeping all right? Never say you don't have a choice. Everybody has choices. At least I don't have to wear that idiotic mask anymore. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off there, Joy, can actually take Joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, Bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there?
Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. She's not watching and judging. district on you. Please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it! They were serious 
nice about taking my joy, weren't they? Lovely weather. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Snug as a bug on a drug. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Righto! Please head into the theatre and take a seat. show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Are you ready to behave? Now, 
our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do... 
to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want it in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! Take all this with you. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, 
Welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. Should clear up soon, I imagine. to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade, like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait, the old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. I saw a spanker spanker downer just now. It was so jolly. Lovely day for it. You flirt. Afternoon. There you are. Righto. Lionel Cashier. Nice to see the old shop still running. As long as the old ticker's going. Come to buy or come to sell. Arthur, you're an ingenious sort of fellow. I have a buyer, a collector, who likes to collect golden records. Now, I happen to know where there's three of them out in the garden district. If you'd go get them for me, I'd make it worth your while. Why don't you get them? Go to the garden district? Oh, oh, of course, of course, there's, there's nothing I'd like better. <laughs> go out there, see the old streets, but I'm uh, so busy with the shop and all, oh, I can hardly step out for Simon Says. <laughs> and you know how people are when you miss a village activity. No, no, uh, here's a map for you. Best if you do it. Should clear up soon, I imagine. All right. 
lovely day for it. Lovely weather. Father McCartney, the features such thoughts. 